Hi guys, it's Mina, welcome back. Uh, today we're gonna be playing with my uh, two-step stretch technique again. I have some little bit different colors that I wanna show you real fast and then we're gonna get started. Okay, so this first one is a Grumbacher. This is Bio Violet. And it's pretty cool. I put a little bit of um, a deco art metallic y sort of, uh, I think it's called black ice. It's like kind of a glittery, iridescent sort of deal. So I was hoping it would darken it just a touch, and it did, which is fine. So that's the Thio Violet from Grumbacher. This one is deco art Americana Decor Metallics in soft gold today, not the 24 karat. And I chose this one specifically because sometimes this looks silver in some light, and I think silver is going to play really well with this palette. This one is also Grumbacher. This is their Prussian Blue. Beautiful color. Nice, deep, dark, lovely goodness. Okay, this one is also Grumbacher. No, sorry, this one is Windsor & Newton. Uh, Ultramarine Blue. I really like this color. Very pretty. So that's cool. Um, the last one we have is Liquitex Basics in Prism Violet. And I darkened this up just a little bit with this color, which I'm going to tell you right now. So this color was my first attempt <laughs> at darkening that. And I put, oh, I did put a little black in there. Okay, so this is the Thio Violet mixed with Artist Loft Flow Acrylic in black. And then this is the one that has the black ice glittery stuff. So it's this pretty deep eggplanty color. And I'm using that as my darkest color instead of black. So, all right, let's layer our cup real fast. Oh, and then where's that little cup of white? couple white has been left over for like the last three paintings and the other night I was watching videos and I was just stirring and stirring and it's still perfectly good so I want some white in this just not a lot so that's perfect okay and that's artist loft white flow no artist loft titanium white with a little bit of deco art Americana decor uh, satin enamels in there all right so um, if you remember from my other two-step stretch I was pouring it and then I went back that way. So that's what I want to play with more today is that going back, pouring it backwards, if you will. And then we're going to stretch it out. So I'm going to start with my deep eggplanty color. And then I'm going to put a little bit of the soft gold in there. Then we're going to go with some of our Prussian blue and some of the prism violet. Just a touch of white, a tiny bit. And then we're going to use some of this bio violet, darkened up black cherry ish color. And we're going to go back to the dark, dark one. And I'm going to put some ultramarine in. Another splash of white. Go with that thio again. Soft gold. And the Prussian blue. White. He's over. Okay. So, the last one I did, I did put a small layer of gold along the edge, and I'm going to do that again before I pour it. And we're going to spread that out real fast with my handy dandy spatula. So, and the soft gold does sell similarly to the 24 karat. The biggest difference is the color. This one, it is literally softer, it actually appears silverish in the light sometimes versus the 24 karat which is very yellow so i mean nothing beats the 24 karat it's amazing but this is a different effect this is when you don't want yellow <laughs> this is a good option i actually want more silver but i do want it to still be gold so i love the soft gold it's a really cool color all right so that time I did it, I went this way, and then I went back a little bit, and then I went this way, and I went back. This time I just want to go this way. So I'm pouring it 
kind of in the wrong direction, if that makes sense. So we're going to start over here and we're going to go that way. we get close to the edge again. <laughs> Alright, so that's cool. That's what I was hoping would happen. So let's go ahead and stretch this out. Okay, so that's the first side. Look at it kind of in the light. We're getting sun all of a sudden, which we weren't a minute ago. Sorry about that. So let's just move this just a tiny bit and see if it's moving uniformly or if it's... Is, I may want to put a line of something over here. I think I'm just going to let that sit for a minute or two. I'm going to go ahead and fill up my cup again. I'm just going to do it fast this time. So... Turn this, and we're gonna put another line on here. So a little bit of gold. I'm gonna do this one through the middle. I don't know if you can see how bouncy this canvas is. It's not as tight as I would like it, which is why I'm doing a two-step stretch technique again instead of pouring it in the middle. So if you find yourself with canvas that you've sprayed and tried to tighten up, and it's not quite as tight as you want, this might be a good alternative pouring technique. So yeah, we're gonna go this way this time. Because I'm assuming that's going to tilt. So I'm going to pour this one about here. Alright, here we go. Ready? That's cool. I want to come in with some of this darker black cherry color and I'm going to go along this edge. So, okay, let's play with this a little bit. I'm actually going to turn it around again. We're going to start just just to get this to the edge. I'm not crazy that that section right there is skinny, so I'm going to move this down a little bit and widen that part out. There we go. Okay, so now the paint is more evenly distributed, more uniform. Wow, this part's really pretty right there. Can you get a shot of that? Okay. So let's see what happens with this.
I don't want to lose a lot of this, so. I like that part on the end right there, but I don't know if that's this kind of painting. at it for a second see what I like what I don't like yeah not crazy about this right there not actually crazy about this whole bottom section so I'm gonna see if I can stretch out the top So I am letting a lot of extra paint come off because like we talked about before, this is not the tightest canvas in the world and I don't want to leave a lot of extra paint on there. I'd rather stretch it, stretch out that part that I really like up there and take the extra off because in stretching it, this is also going to encourage it to sell. And I like actually what's happening down there. In the Go this way a little bit. This is really cool in here. still moving really easily to come off which means there's plenty to come off but I think that's enough Let me come back this way now just a little bit and remember this is the soft gold this is not the 24 karat gold so I'm expecting a slightly different color and look all right that's pretty cool it's awesome
I just want to get a little bit of that bottom off. And I think we'll be finished. Lay the canes right down there. Perfect. Just need to let it slide down. Okay, so that's it for this one. This is really neat. You see the look right in here? This part is amazing. There's all these different, you see all the striations and I'm like, I love this. Very cool. Very cool. All right, so this one is gonna be the, <laughs> our black cherry two-step and I dripped in it apparently. Okay, this one's just a tiny bit. All right, I like that. I think it's really cool. I'm gonna turn it around so you can see it from the way I've been looking at it because I really like it like this. It's very cool. You get a good shot of it like that. It's like one of those Japanese Ikigawa paintings. Very neat. Yeah, very cool. See, the paint's still moving a lot. <laughs> you all know how I feel about that. If your paint is moving enough to tilt some of it off, I tilt. <laughs> I've had pooling and cracking and things like that happen, and I don't like it. So, okay. That's good. I'm going to leave that like that, because I think that's really cool, especially this part in here is amazing. And I think this is going to be really neat when it dries. So that's very cool. I like the, let me take my gloves off. Oh, look at that, I get my shirt clean. <laughs> For once. Okay, so let's, let me stand here so my shadow is not in it. So this part is amazing. This is the ultramarine blue and then you see the Prussian blue in there too with the darker violet and the lighter thio violet mixing over here with the white. These little areas in here are amazing and that's starting to sell up already. So that's really cool. Here's these sort of the same fingerlings, <laughs> fronds, seaweed, pearl, whatever you want to call. These thingies over here, this part's got stretched out, but they're really pretty. Uh, I, just, I love that effect with the lines. If you can get a close up right here, honey. That is so gorgeous right there. And like this effect, in here where you see the violet and the purple and that black cherry color very cool and then this is really beautiful right i love that that like variegation almost where it goes from light to dark and you see just a few little cells popping up there we didn't even torches yet and then more of the same striations over here this color i'm not so amazed happy with because i'm not a huge fan of magenta y'all know that already <laughs> but that's okay I do like magenta when you add black to it, which is what this dirty, dark cherry sort of-ish color is. This is just where it was straight. So now I know, keep it dirty. <laughs> okay, so I like this a lot. I think this is really cool. This is not my favorite, but this corner right here, let me turn this around so you guys so you can see the edge because it's so pretty. Can you see that? The side of it and the edge of it right there is gorgeous. Ah, we're done. So many really pretty parts. Let me torch it real fast too. This is what I was hoping would happen. We get a little bunch of air bubbles popped in there. So that'll start to look more like cells shortly. So this is really amazing. This has got this like stained glass kind of very transparent effects here. So this is the ultramarine blue, which is transparent and the Prussian blue, which is an opaque. You see the difference. You can't see through that one. 
through this ultramarine, you see the different layers of the violet. You're seeing some of that soft gold in there that looks like silver, which is really neat. So this is very, I like that part a lot. This part is really neat. Put this stuff in here. So that was fun. I'm gonna definitely play with this some more because <laughs> I like it. I like that technique. I will see you guys when this is dry. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. See you in a bit. Okay. So <laughs> this one turned out really, really cool. There are a lot of different parts on here that I really, really love. Obviously, of course, this first area here with all these beautiful lines. Kind of reminds me of waves. Some of those Japanese wood carving things are really, really cool. Beautiful detail in here. So pretty. And you see all the ultramarine and the Prussian blue. And there's that black cherry color. That was the thio violet mixed with the black. Beautiful, puffy. Just so pretty. Turned out really, really cool. It was amazing watching the video of this one. How even when I was tilting the whole thing, this section like stretched and tilted and then it just sort of stayed there, which is really nice because no matter what I did to the rest of it, <laughs> that part didn't move, which was awesome. This other part over here, I am just in love with. This, when it was dry, it was so incredible to watch because at first it was kind of dark. And then as it started to dry, you saw all of these areas with that soft gold in there, how it mixed with the Prussian blue and the two different violets just so pretty and that little bit of white in there just gives it this like highlighted glowing feeling so this one's definitely softer within the 24 karat gold this is the soft gold and you see the effects it's not as yellow it's not as blingy it doesn't look silver in this one but very very pretty very floaty kind of mystical very cool there's some beautiful little cells right in here so cute, I love this part, it's gorgeous. And that's where the sight of violet. Oh, come on, wind. Very pretty. I really, really like this one a lot. Very cool. I know you guys were excited about it when I showed that little video from before. So here you go. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. And if you'd like to see more examples of my work, you can check out Mina Villegas Art on Facebook. You can also find stuff in my Etsy shop, which is called Mina Villegas Art. <laughs> and I am putting more things in there all the time, so please be patient. If you see something that you know you love, or you've seen a video or something, feel free to send me a message. I would love to talk to you. Um, what else? What else? What else? Oh, there's a PayPal me link in the description box. It's really cool. So that's a whole ribbon candy kind of technique. It's just so pretty right there. It's beautiful. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. And I will see you next time. Have a wonderful day.